Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Um, this evening I'm going to do one, not usually my style of beer. I picked this up oh, a few months back. Um, I'm going to be doing the Oma Gang Aphrodite. It's a one time, apparently a one time brewing uh, back in April. Um, this They call it a Belgian style fruit beer with Brett yeast. I saw the bread, I didn't see anything. All I saw on the, on the label was... Um, Malt beverage with natural flavors and grains of paradise. And then it said fermented with brat yeast. I didn't realize it was a fruit beer. Not really my style. Um, from the website it says, In Greek mythology, Aphrodite rises from the foam of the waves of the sea, <clears throat> enchanting all who see her and inciting thoughts of love and lust wherever she goes. We could hardly say it more eloquently. Our limited edition Aphrodite Ale is ethereal, intriguing, and mysterious, as the goddess Aphrodite must have been. Yada yada yada, and there's a list of ingredients down below. I'll put all the rest of it down below. So, um, let me get the cork off this, get this in a glass, and see what we have. Um, I don't know if I'm, I can't remember if I mentioned it comes in at 8.9% ABV. So, nice little crown on the over the cork. So, see if we can get this out. Oh, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is much easier than those. Those boulevard corks. Nice little bit of foam coming out of there. Got some nice decorations on the uh, on the cork. I think I may already have one like that though. So um, let's get this in a glass and oh man. They said something about a pink head. They're right. My God, this looks like a. That's a nice orange, almost amber color. Almost could be a a red grapefruit juice, but it's got that finger of a. I don't know if you can see the color there. A pink, pinkish anyway. It's not bright pink, but a pinkish head. I've never seen a. A head on beer that beer that way. I know they do. They said they do use. Nat, it says natural raspberry and pear juices. So I'm expecting a lot of fruitiness and hopefully a little tartness and funk from the brat. So let's see what we got for a nose. Okay, I'm getting the raspberries right away. A little bit of that light light brat uh, funkiness. Um, very fruity, um, almost like a, a sour cherry. Touch of lemongrass, maybe. A little bit of wheat. Almost possibly like bing cherries or something like that. It just says raspberry and pear juices, but I'm getting other fruits there. I'm not sure uh, where that other is coming from. But uh, I think that lemony aroma might be part, part of it, might be coming from the bread, so. Smells like a fruit beer, so I hope it's better than the Lindemans, because I hate those Lindemans fruit beers. Let's give it a taste and see what we have. Well, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's uh, follows the, follows the uh, the aroma fairly well. Um, berries are coming through right in the beginning. Kind of tart. Getting a little bit of that Brent, Brent fuckiness. Um, there's almost, uh, again, lemony, uh, lemony presence. I think that might be part of the Brett. Cherries and raspberries come through. It's a strange mixture. I think I may be, uh, may be tasting a little bit of that pear juice, too. But I'd say it's a decent tasting beer for a fruit beer. Um, the mouthfeel, well, I can see the carbonation still coming up, but it's not streaming as much as it was. But um, it's a uh, light medium to, I'd say light medium mouthfeel. Got the moderate carbonation, kind of a almost sticky finish. Um, 
Let me sit and sip on this a while, let it warm up a bit, and I'll be back in a few with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's been half an hour or so. I've I've capped this. Um, one one glass is going to be enough for me. Um, this is not not my style. It's I like it. Um, I'm enjoying it sort of, but it's a sipper. I mean, it's not something you want to want to drink very fast. Um, I'll, I'll definitely share the rest of this with somebody. I think for what it is, it's a good beer. I mean, it's a fruit beer. It's not my style. Um, it does have that little little tartness, a little funkiness from the uh, from the Brett. Um, I don't know how the Brett mixed with the uh, Oma Gang yeast, um, but apparently they, they did uh, some sort of special blend of the two yeasts. Um, it's a decent beer. Um, I'm going to rate it for what I like because I haven't had a lot of fruit beers other than those Lindemans, which are basically over-sweetened, over-carbonated, you know, not even beer, they're almost wine, or wine-like. This is almost wine-like. Um, like I said, I've never seen a pink head on a beer before. Um, we had it down, there is a, it seems to be a little, little cloudiness. I guess they did leave some yeast in the bottle. It says on the bottle to, uh, uh, you know, Something about leave the yeast, don't pour out the yeast, or something like that. Uh, yeah, pour slowly as to not disturb the yeast sediment with enough vigor to create a luxurious head and release the rich bouquet. Um, I think I got a fairly aggressive head. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. It's, it's above average, but it's not my style. Somebody may like it better. I don't, so until next time, everybody, cheers. Keep drinking good beer.